Think Tank Radio, News Talk 98.9, the roar of Memphis. Welcome, everyone. We are the Geek Patrol, and our microphones don't have a stun setting. (laughs) Our microphones don't have any settings. Today, we're joining you from Brandon Olmstead's home workshop as he puts the finishing touches on the 5,000-watt cattle prod that he'll be wielding next weekend at the 11th Annual Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention. (laughs) You don't like those li- lines to form, do you, no, sir? No, 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 no. Get away from the elevators. Quit blocking traffic. Why you toned he it signed, down? He signed your stuff. Okay. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a booth barnacle. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, welcome to uh, Geek Tank Radio, everybody. Yeah, next weekend, uh, boy, it should be the 12th annual, but we're not going to dwell on that. The 11th annual <laughs> Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention taking place at the uh, uh, Memphis Marriott East. I'm, I'm, I'm changing it as the chairman. We're not even going to call it the tw- the 11th annual. We're just going to call it the annual Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention uh, for 2021. Okay, we're we're not we're not even going to use numbers anymore. Slightly less of a dumpster fire. Yes, I like the numbers. But anyway, uh, sloppy introduction. I'm Joe Thorderson here with my friends Brandon Olmstead and Alan Gilbert, and we got a special guest, Corey Kaufman from the DeSoto DeSoto County Ghostbusters. Hey, Corey, welcome to the show, man. I appreciate it, guys. How you doing today? Good. Uh, Well, (laughs) I think we're off our game today. But uh, hey, Corey, you're going to be set up out front with the uh, with Ecto. Wait, what Ecto? Ecto 17. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, how do we get these numbers? Well, because it, it's what's on his license plate. Oh. Well, it's all, it, well, see, that's the thing. Everyone's like 17. Like, there's at least 17 of these cars. I'm like, well, 17 actually is the district county number of DeSoto County in Mississippi. So we wanted okay. to have an association there, but you can't call it Ecto 1. You can't call it Ecto 1A. You can't, can't right. steal from the, from the movie brigade type stuff. So. That we just wanted to fit something that was more DeSoto County related. So yeah, Sounds folks. So you, you're gonna want to check that out because it's 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 not just the outside, Brandon. The whole inside Dude. is oh, yeah. is uh, All right. period accurate. Do we call it? Or? <laughs> it's 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 a it's a plethora of of 80s, 90s, and today's technologies. Yeah. It's definitely just uh, it's a it's a good mashup. But I don't know if you noticed. Did you out of everything that's in the car? The uh, we do have a um, what's the thing from. <laughs> Back to the future. Right? I, I love the fact that you you've got a flux capacitor and a you're asking capacitor. me about it. Well, I know, but it's I your can't. Car. I can't get the hearse to drive 88 miles an hour. No, so. no. Oh, wait a minute. So are we going to have the uh, hardcore Back to the Future nerds getting on our case? Well, first or off, the if Ghostbusters nerds. If you're a gonna... hardcore Back to the Future nerd, you won't be looking for that inside <laughs> the Ecto One anyway, or the Ecto Seven. It's just I'm an sorry. Easter egg. I'm just going to say there, if they ask, or right? ever give you any grief about that? Uh, oh, absolutely. There's okay. you know, <laughs> So, well, anyway, so Corey's a, a, a big, you know, he, he, they they do a lot of charity work. So we're going to be talking to him today. He's going to weigh in, and and he'll be well represented at the uh, convention too, yeah. Brandon. So and that's not all you 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 bring to uh, geekdom here in Memphis, and we'll get into that a little bit later. I mean, we're just coming off of October, <laughs> which was like your busy days, yeah. you know. Well, but, it sounds uh, like it's going to get even busier. So, you know, I, I thought November I was going to take a nap, and yeah. I'm totally wrong. So, but uh, so today's going to be about getting us prepared for the Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention. We'll probably throw a couple little shout yeah. shout outs to some other activities. We're also going to all talk of us about, are busy, even yeah. Alan with Geeky Side TV, yeah. mm-hmm. and we're going to talk about geeks giving back. Which you know, through the Desoto County Ghostbusters, you guys do that. I mean, you do a lot for the kids. You you just you've got your uh, your um, charitable organization, uh, you know, you know, certification yes. what, earlier this year. Actually, yeah, last October. Oh, okay. So you've you've been you've been just kicking butt across the you know counties for that's, you know quite. That's a bit. the whole point. It's it's been snowballing like crazy like yeah. this past year. So yes. All right, well, yeah, we're in the season of geeks giving, aren't we? Yes, we are. Don't forget, folks. Don't just skip from Halloween to uh, Christmas. I'm yeah. tired of that whole maneuver. <laughs> yeah. but that's, you know, we always hear from uh, the mainstream media about this war on Christmas, and you know, if they just hadn't illegally encroached on November, mm. that occupation <laughs> needs to end. Yeah, that's where it started. Hey, uh, you guys, I also wanted to mention an interesting juxtaposition, too. Uh, So I think that's the right word. So, you know, we have overflow parking because the Memphis Marriott East is a really nice hotel, but we they we need more parking because we fill it up. We do fill it up. So we have a really uh, awesome uh, uh, shuttle bus. It's the haunted tours of uh, the of Memphis. Alan, your buddies. Awesome. The Ghost Hunters, Tanya Vandesty, Stephen Gunther. And anyway, it's a 22 passenger bus. It's nice. So the Haunted Tours bus is going to be set up right next to the the Ghostbusters uh, 
Ecto 17. See, see, uh, <laughs> people are going to start feeling it looks, that, that looks like Uber delivery. There, there yeah. was a, there was a joke several years back. They're going to start calling us Spooky Con again. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Are we setting the right? We might as well. I mean, is this is this going to bode well? I feel like we're asking for trouble with this. Um, I mean, as long as trouble buys tickets, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Alan things. taught me to be a mercenary. Yeah, that's and, true. And I'm I'm assuming too we might have some people that are sort of new to conventions, so we'll probably give them a little primer of what to expect when it's uh you know when you arrive at the Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention. But honestly, people, if you're on the fence at all, just go. Yeah. I'm telling you, I don't. I've never met anybody. I don't. I don't care who you are, oh, even I, if you're not into this stuff. It's fun. It's just I, a fun family. I've met afternoon. a couple of people who you know, you know, go to a convention for the first time. They complain that it wasn't for them. Blah blah blah. But then next year, I see them back there, like standing in line buying a three day pass. So I think they protest a little too much. I think they don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're afraid that they're going to get stuffed into a locker at school or something. I don't know. Anyway, you're listening to a Geek Tank Radio here on News Talk 98.9 The Roar of Memphis. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Tank Radio. Ah! News Talk 98.9, the roar of Memphis. And welcome back to Geek Tank Radio. I'm Joe Thorderson here with my friends Brandon Olmstead and Alan Gilbert and our buddy Corey Kaufman from the DeSoto County Ghostbusters. Uh, and Corey's going to be set up. Uh, man, we can't wait. We're <laughs> less than, well, we're less than six days away. We're yeah, I mean, it's from the Memphis know, yeah, Fantasy. Yeah, this, this time next week, we will be knee D in cosplayers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that's a well, weird we will, way to, to it's, say it's it. Just, it. When you organize the convention, you you get kind of you know like you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Brandon, I, I want to mention call that something. Gallows humor. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I I want before you throw it to to Corey, I want to mention something, folks. Um, uh, we've been we've had a huge spike in ticket sales this week, and I feel like. As a PSA, I'm just going to tell people if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, go to the convention, it's a really good idea to pre-order your tickets. For one thing, it's easier. It locks it in. We don't know what might yeah. happen this year. It's also easier to pick up your tickets when you get to go up and they just go, "Hey, I've got tickets for." You just walk yada, up yada, and then they the give you your tickets. Booth. Yeah, because the thing is, people at the uh, Memphis Marriott East, this isn't like a massive convention center that holds no. five thousand people. We may hit capacity. Yeah restrictions and it's not a bad idea to just get them because we don't know what might happen in 2021 it's true i mean you know there's there's a lot of people who've who've been convention deprived yeah uh, (laughs) like us Mm. so go to memphiscfc.com and get your tickets there so anyway okay wanted to mention that i want to go ahead and i want to step back in time a little bit you know that's alan's job just (laughs) just for a minute We just came off of, uh, you know, we just came off of October. We just came out of Halloween. Spooky season is technically over, technically, but it was also I want I want to dive into the fact that it was like how busy it was for you guys. You were doing something with if you weren't doing something with Desoto County Ghostbusters, you were doing something in your other capacity. Yeah. As uh, was the Mid South Maniac. Yeah, on, on Instagram, and and that's the thing. October, you know. For the Ghostbusters, for what it is, I mean, we were we've been off, you know, awfully busy all up until October, and you try to mentally prep for October because it's every weekend, every almost every day, people, you know, trunk or treats, haunts, <clears throat> getting called for the most obscure things, some homecoming parades, anything like that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but yeah, outside of that, not only my, was my personal schedule filled with that, and then trying to delegate and schedule team, you know, team meetings and and who's working what event, but. When I'm not doing that, I'm um, I'm doing Jason Voorhees esque horror cosplay, if you will, right. at, at events. You know, for which is honestly how 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 we kind of met was yeah. because I'm a I'm a huge Friday the Thirteenth fan, right. and it was just like I wanted <clears throat> to do something a couple you know last year for MCFC because our Friday was going to fall on November Thirteenth. Oh, I know. and I mean I had this I had this great idea of doing <laughs> these like the year before we had done these little scavenger hunts where you found the rock that had the engraving of MCFC on it. Right. That got you tickets into the con. And I was like, I want to do a scavenger hunt, but I want them to be chased down by Jason <laughs> or find <laughs> body parts. Yeah. Right, I, right. I get and, it. I get and it was going to be called, you know, camp MCFC. 
And, you know, of course, you know, COVID hit and we couldn't really sure. do anything like that. So, but, you know, I, then I, I found out, you know, through uh, through Andrew, uh, the DeSoto County Spider-Man, that you were also part of the Ghostbusters crew. Yeah. And it was like, okay, well, we definitely need to get Corey in and, and start talking about stuff. And then, of course, you know, again, we didn't get to have our con this year, but we want to go full out this year, yeah. you know, this year. And uh, I have to ask, are you bringing Vigo? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So Vigo, uh, he's about 14 feet tall. Um, so he will be there and yeah. framed up probably next to the car. What's Vigo? Um, All right. Vigo the car- <laughs> right, the painting turning the car- Ghostbusters too. <laughs> the what? The painting from Ghostbusters 2. Oh, they got one. a giant well, Ghostbusters 2 doesn't really hold up for me. But. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry. We, 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 yeah, but I'll, they've I'll, got this, I'll own that. Yeah. I don't care. But no, I mean, yeah. when you guys had that at the Covington Comic Con, yeah. and I mean, I just, I was in awe. It was well, like, and it's it was kind of a set it and forget it thing. Yeah. And people were just like, and then this year, who knows? If, if Vigo starts speaking mm-hmm. and talking to you, then that, I, I'm not saying it's going to happen. But you know, if if you get the right formula of, of those kinds of people there, I think it's going to. It may spark yeah. some interest. I, I will so. say the Vigo painting in the movies was sort of ahead of its time. I think. I mean, yeah. that was creepy. Yeah. The <laughs> painting was freaky. That's, I'll give him that. Yeah, creepy doesn't cut it, but it, it, it was. Yeah, that was something else. Yeah, and it was a good. It was a good investment. We, and that's the thing with the group. We've been trying to really hit you know what can we do next what can we upgrade or improve on and whether it's props you know hell we have a, a whole stay puff costume not the inflatable one from target i'm talking like the the you know yeah. pretty real deal mr um, man kind yeah, of stuff exactly. who gets yeah. to wear that and how it, hot is it uh well it'd be <laughs> great for this time of year in the summer when we decided to buy it it wasn't any, um, but um now you guys took yeah. that out to wolf chase at one point didn't you what the the stay puff uh, no, actually, the only, the one time we went to Wolf Chase, we took Slimer out there and we all paraded around and walked, you know, like you were a normal customer in yeah. Wolf Chase. And we held Slimer and we did some interactive things with him, okay. and uh, <laughs> and people were weirded out and freaked out. But it, for what it was, it was it was a good viral situation. And 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 you know, you ask people are like. People are like, well, what are you here for? I'm like, have you seen any ghosts today? And they say, no. And what do you say? You say, you're welcome. Yeah. So, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and then you know, you get the the smart ones that are like, well, yeah, I seen. I said. Just just say no, and then so I can do my live. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's when you look at him and go, no, that was just the morning wall walkers. Right, yeah. You may that's, think they're ghosts. Yeah. Oh, no. right. but, um, <laughs> but, uh, look, but no. I can only move so fast, okay? <laughs> that's because you have a cyber leg. <laughs> no, but I mean, from 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 the packs and, and, and you know, Slimer and, and the Ecto, you guys have gone, like, full on out to make sure that anybody's experience when you, with you guys is is a memorable one a memorable genuine and just a, a, about as close as you're going to get to not just the a movie feel but then you can kind of take take the fans out of the movie saying hey the movie was the movie yeah they're like well what do you guys do you were you in the movie i said no this is the real deal yeah you know and and, mm-hmm. then, and then they kind of stop collect themselves and go okay so this is real um and then they you know try yeah. to assess what the new situation is i said hey the movie i said that's a movie yeah I said the movie's based on what we're doing, and you know, so you really got to feed off of that energy. <laughs> so to, but it's it's a great experience. So you get to play the meta all the way across the board. Uh, hundred percent. You, you got to make sure you're up to snuff you know, because you will get called out yeah. by someone that's four years old or someone that's eighty four years old if you don't know your stuff. Right. So. I, I think it's I think it's hilarious that uh, you know it's like of course you got here this morning you you, know, you had the car I took a picture of the car next to my truck. And I sent it to a buddy of mine. Yeah. And he immediately sends me back a picture from himself at the Target and Olive Branch. Been there, seen Standing that. <laughs> next to the, you know, the yeah. exact same, you know, Ecto. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, you guys, I mean, that's the thing is people are going to run into you guys in public where you might just be doing like a supply run to Target or yeah. Home Depot. And, that, and that's the thing. And that's when you have to decide, am I supposed to be in full not costume. Please don't use that term. It's a uniform. Full, full uniform. Because like today you're like, well, it's a radio show. Why are you in uniform? I'm like. Because if you're driving that car, you really need to, you know, right? Not, you know, you look the part at, at all costs. Because unless someone says, "Well, I don't understand," they're like, "Well, it's my day off, so I had to get gas for the car." You know, you yeah. really got to play off of that too. So I, I'm kind of curious, what's it like when you're just driving it around? To, I mean, everybody's got to be pulling out their camera, yeah, and, and taking and pictures while you're driving. Right? You'd be surprised how many times I've had to um, fill out, help fill out police reports lately <laughs> because people get in accidents, and we try to tell, <laughs> we try to tell people like just. Wave us down. Pull, let, let us pull over. I will gladly take a picture with oh, somebody. Oh, they get an accident while they're taking Yeah, it. they'll yeah. be like, oh, the, you know, because they don't have their, and they're trying to do everything at once. And, you know, they rear in somebody, and you're going, dang, if you would have just 
flag me down. And so, yeah. but but I never thought of that. So so yeah, guys, so you guys you, are really a menace to this society. <laughs> if you see the ecto rolling it, yeah. around, <laughs> if you see the ecto rolling around and you want to get a picture, try and flag them down. Uh, that, don't, that's why they don't do so. pit maneuver them or anything. <laughs> right. Just you know, get up next to them and, and you know wave. And then, like, you know, now, this is insightful. This is why you guys do so much community work because you're trying to make up for all the traffic. <laughs> oh, accidents. oh, it's community <laughs> service. Okay. I mean, it's community I, service, I know the yeah. lights, and there's a lot going on with the car. There's, a, you know, lights, a lot to look at. But I'll tell you what, here's, here's the thing that I, I try to tell people because they're like, I don't understand what you're doing here. <laughs> um, and literally, I've had that question asked a hundred times. You never but I, Halloween or having fun. Or right. Anything. But I said, if you really think about it when you're on the road and you're driving down the road i said especially you know when it's busy on goodman or poplar or whatever mm-hmm. the issue that it's not an issue i said I, you know someone could be having the crappiest day ever and they're miserable and they're in their car probably going from point a to point b not doing what they and then they look over at us there's a 99.9% chance they're not going to look at us and go that's stupid they're going to look over and probably smile and that might oh, be the yeah. only smile they have that week or that day and yeah. between that and then just all the other stuff we're doing i mean you're really able to go. Okay, I think this is what I should be doing. I, I yeah. really enjoy it. I've done it for. I've been doing it for three years, and I feel like I'm, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Spreading positivity. Yeah. Hard, yeah. hard to remember a, a time when you weren't a <clears throat> Ghostbuster, putting smiles on people's faces. Yeah, I mean, and 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 trust me, it was a transition because doing the Jason thing. Yeah. You know, I literally got asked, "Hey, do you want to do something that's a little bit more kid friendly? <laughs> that, that that maybe people actually invite you to things." And I'm like, "Hey, that's a good point." <laughs> I was like, I was trying to cut cakes with a machete, but not everyone was hitting me up for that. Mm. But <laughs> that um, would totally be my birthday. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm waiting for you to call me about that. Yeah. But um, no, it's it's been really good. And you know, from our first event three years ago with the Ronald McDonald House, yeah. having that ecto that wasn't even didn't even look like an ecto, it still looked like a hearse. Yeah. To to where we're at today and where we're going to progress. I mean, it's 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 an ongoing situation, but it's it's great. It's been amazing, and I've made I feel like being able to show my son, who's now twelve. Mm-hmm. And just other people like what we're doing in the positive influence, it, it's been really beneficial. And let's so. face it, Ghostbusters isn't just for like people like at our convention. It's everybody they're likes not, it. Yeah. I mean, you could show up at any any you could show up at Target and they're gonna <laughs> right. roll yeah. out there and yeah. want pictures taken. Right. So. I, and I mean, honestly, if, if you don't like Ghostbusters, there's there might be a little something wrong with you. <laughs> Possibly. But, I mean, if you unless you really critique the film, it's it's like just the overall feeling you get from it, yeah. and uh, it just it happens to be something that. It functions the way it functions right now, and, and I can't see it going yeah, in the other direction. Yeah, if you're a fan of 80s movies and you're critiquing the uh, accuracy <laughs> or the uh, plot development or anything, you, you're doing it wrong because right. that's not yeah. what they're all about. Uh, really, so, I mean. chill, relax, <laughs> enjoy the enjoy, trip. Yeah. I mean, really, honestly. If you, if you can't get over the plot holes in things, right. no. don't watch anything that's fiction. Anyway. Yeah, good point. Have so. you seen reality? It's got plot holes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you got to look at somebody and go, Your Honor, at what point was this a good idea? Yeah, yeah if I if That I, is called a plot hole. If you people. can't if you can't ignore plot holes here, you know, you get putting that on a t-shirt. Them. That was a good quote, Alan. <laughs> anyway, well, we're full of good quotes here at uh, Geek Tank Radio. Uh we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about uh what to, you know, uh MCFC preparation. Geek Tank Radio. Honestly, I hate working here. They are so weird. News Talk 98.9, the roar of Memphis. And welcome back to Geek Tank Radio. I'm Joe Thorderson here with my friends Brandon Olmstead and Alan Gilbert and our buddy Corey Kaufman from the DeSoto County uh, Ghostbusters and our pal Max behind the glass. Sorry, Max. I always leave him out. He, You know why? He's a producer who does his job well. He keeps his mouth shut and just <laughs> pushes the buttons in, until he's called on, but... Uh, and he gives That's us why he's got a taser stuff. behind your back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes you forget that he's there. You know, it's true. It's true. But, but uh, uh, yeah, we love Max because he actually keeps us on the air. He does. So, hey, um, you guys. So um, a lot of people listening because, you know, here at News Talk 98.9, the roar of Memphis, it, it, it's we're still new. I mean, I feel like until next year, we're still just going to be th- thought of as a really new radio station. So, I mean, well, it's uh, it's true. It's true. And, you know, uh, of course, 
it's got a much bigger range than any of the stations we've been on before. <laughs> oh, yeah. You always like to twist that. I do, nice. I do. Because, <laughs> dude, I can listen to this almost all the way to Jackson without getting any kind of static. It's awesome. I've listened to it to Jackson. So, yeah, way but, down in Mississippi, way in Arkansas, you know, way up in Tennessee. So, But we've we've obviously, we're reaching new you know new listeners you know, every, every time we come on the air here at 989. Right. And uh, we kind of want to give you guys a primer on what to expect and how to prepare for the MCFC. Yeah. You don't always have to load up, you know, a bunch of, you know, ghost busting equipment to come down. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, and, and, and you to do. prepare you, you for what you're what you're going to see. So so, folks, if you because honestly, if you don't know what a, a geek convention is like, you maybe can't even picture what it's like. But for one thing, folks, don't just say, well, we're going to go out there for 30 minutes and do something else. No, you're going to be here. Yeah. For hours, because you're going to want to be, because there's so much going on, Brandon. And year. and this year is a whole new year for us too, because yeah. we've you know we've circled the wagons and brought you a different feel to the MCFC this year. You know we're just coming off of all the major you know lockdowns and everything, so we want to make sure that this is an awesome experience for everybody. And we've done that by partnering up with folks like Historic Haunts Memphis, Nerd Alert. Uh, the daycare kids, yeah. uh, you know, comics, toys, and antiquities, mm -hmm. and the pirate blades, the pirate blades, the DeSoto County Ghostbusters. Uh, in order to bring you a more encompassing feel, we've always well, got different activities you know, that we haven't done before. Yeah, so. we've always run, you know, run the gamut when it comes to you know the different panels and everything you'll get to see, and you'll still get a bunch of those same, uh, you know, like. That same flavor, you're going to have people who are, you know, bringing you, you know, amazing information about, you know, Avatar, Harry Potter, uh, Undertale, which I don't even know what that is, but somebody told me I have Ooh, to sit in that panel. Yeah. You do. You know, I mean, I'm not a big anime guy, but you guys keep dragging me into it. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, we've also got our cosplay contest. The easiest way to make sure you're in the right place is look for a Harley Quinn. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll see about fifty of that. That could be the new drinking game. Every yeah. time you see a Harley Quinn, no. you gotta take it. No, that. that's poison. I, yeah, I, don't I, think gonna, no. I wanna start I want I wanna put a uh, you know a you know a question out to our audience and to you guys now. What are we gonna see more of? Uh you know, desert ready steel suits or highly ornate eternal uh garb. Not the eternal. What oh, desert suits. Yeah. desert suits. Desert suits. <laughs> desert suits. I don't know. I saw, before we saw how the movie was turned out, there were a lot of people already prepping their their suits on either side. Yeah. So I'm wondering how many how many uh for uh, you know yeah. Max uh, wants I'm, I'm to get. To I'm totally down with the same. Max ones. wants one of those trench coats. Uh, for P Paul, uh, the Paul Atreides, Paul Atreides, Dude, yeah, that, that thing was awesome. He, he'd wear it well, yeah. but so folks, you show up, man. But, he you would know. almost be scary in that. He's no, kind of he, got, got the, the right, right build yeah, and everything. The, the only, the, the only thing he'd really have to change is like he'd dar have to darken his hair a bit. Mm, yeah, you know. All right, so folks, you pull up to the hotel, which already, I, I'm sorry, hotels have a fun vibe. People travel from around, the, you know. There's yeah. just always the Marriott's a beautiful hotel. You pull up, and so, um. If because I'm just trying to paint a picture for somebody that's never been, you're going to see hundreds of people dressed in really elaborate costumes as superheroes, you're, science fiction, yeah. fantasy characters. You're so gonna right hear, there, it's fun. You're going to hear what's going on before you actually see it, mm, yeah. and yeah. it's not like you're going to hear a bunch of noise. There's just this low cacophony as you get closer to the. There's hotel. an energy and, and, pulsating, and, and, no. and it just. <laughs> It starts to give you positive vibes as you get into it. I mean, and there, you just can't help it. And and of course, check out our buddy Corey. He'll be out front in the with the Ghostbusters vehicle, so you'll know you're pulling up to the right spot. So, so here's your hint: make sure your camera phone is well charged. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. And sure. here's the other cool thing: everybody you see walking around doing something weird or cool, if you hold up your camera phone and say, "Hey, can I get a pic?" Oh, that's what they, they are instantly for. gonna vogue uh, yeah. right but, there because they all of us will and, instantly. But please ask. Yeah. Don't don't and, touch. And, and, please and don't ask. get handsy. Yeah, and it, yeah. Like, it only try, what is that? Don't yeah. don't touch the wings because you know, they yeah. might be delicate. Cosplay right. does not equal consent. Yeah, it doesn't mean you can put your arm you know, around that uh, anime girl or something. There, there's so, yeah. there's there's a lot of intricate work that goes into these, and I'm not even gonna. And talk those about costumes this from break the, easy. Yeah. yeah, I'm not even gonna. I'm doing this from the cosplay vibe right now. Yeah. the some of those pieces are very delicate. 
And that's not to say, I mean, you shouldn't be putting your hands on people anyway. You know? Yeah. I, well, especially I was, after I was, COVID. Where you said six foot rule now. I, I, always told, I was always told, keep your hands to yourself. Do the yeah. Keanu Reeves pose. He yeah. actually doesn't touch anybody yeah. when he no. pose. But, but, but also. But so, he does say they're breathtaking. But folks, uh, here's the thing. So when you get there, make sure you get a schedule. Either look yes. at it on our website or pull up, uh, pull it up on your phone. Yeah. because, or, or we'll probably have printed ones as well. But the thing is, people, because you're going to look yeah. around and you Every minute of the day, there's some activities going on, and you want to know where they're and at. And here's something new we did this year. Uh, take your camera phone, aim it at your badge at the QR code. It'll take you directly to the, to the link on the Memphis Comic and Fantasy oh, uh, right. com, yeah. uh, MemphisCFC.com to our programming schedule page. Yeah. So you'll be able to bring it up at any given time. Excellent. Yeah, and the thing you're going to want to definitely check out, save some money to buy souvenirs because we call them souvenirs, but really it's like if, uh, I mean, these are things you can't find. You're not going to find these at any big box store. You're going to find no. uh, yeah. all sorts of cool artwork, all sorts of cool collectibles. And folks, one of my favorite things still to this day, Brandon, is uh, when you, you can go to like Dean Zachary or Mitch Faust or John, John Martin, you can go to any of these uh, comic book artists and have yourself drawn in any way you want. Like, have yourself drawn as a superhero, or have him draw a superhero uh, in, in the in the pose you want, or something. And it's a, amazingly affordable. And that is a one of a kind piece of art. That, it's true. And that and and so if you're if you're out holiday shopping, even if you don't have geeks in your family, I'm telling you, you're gonna find unique right. things. And the vendor room is just a blast, anyway. So. Okay, Corey, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out to you. <clears throat> yeah. What is one thing you can't leave any convention without purchasing? Well, trust me, I'm pretty stingy, so I can usually leave no problem. It's my son that has the issue. Right? <laughs> right. And so he, he has to leave with like modified custom Lego guys. Like that's his right. that's, oh, the oh, yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he can all do about, worse than that. Yeah. Although some of those I, I can be pricey too. What, yeah. what I love is like if I go to if I'm at a convention with yeah. Joe and it's not one of the ones we're running, oh, right. is Joe has to get a piece of artwork somewhere. Sure. And He'll disappear well, for a few like minutes. I like to support him too. So. And then oh, yeah, you well, know absolutely. he'll walk up to me and he goes, "Look what I look what I got!" You know, it's like, and he'll he'll turn something around that I've been through the vendor room 15, 20 times already. I did not see this thing. Joe will find that piece of art. Oh yeah, that I did not see while I was in. It there. is a treasure hunt, which is yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Brandon just brought up a very very important point. You cannot go through the vendor dealer area once. Don't walk through it and no. think you're done. No. Go walk through it. Then I'm going to tell you, use your schedule, go find a panel or just find you a nice place to sit down and relax and people watch. And then after you've had a little side entertainment, go back through the vendor room again. Yeah, it's not go a the different same. direction this time. You will see a different level of a it's just too much to take in in one yeah. trip. Yeah. It, it's like when you have to watch a movie several times before you find all the hidden, you know, gems. Well, it's it. it's like any it's Villeneuve a, yeah. movie. You got to watch it three times to catch yes. all the and, stuff. And yeah. the exhibitor room is the home of the deep cut. You will find the most random artwork or the most yes. random collect. You'll find a Dwight Schrute dressed as the uh, <laughs> the knight that got all his arms cut off in Monty Python yeah. by just some. It, you'll Just find something. You'll, you'll you will find, find something that you did not know you needed in your life. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's scary. It's a, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and so uh, you can get your tickets at memphiscfc.com. We run Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, November 12th through 14th. I'm just going to be real honest. If you can only devote one day, come on Saturday. Yeah. Saturday is the biggest yeah. day. Saturday or Sunday we end early, so we're yeah. not gonna, you know, we just want to make sure you plan it out. But so. what we do, what we do have going on Sunday, of course, is our annual let's make a deal with right. Mr. Robert and you know the That's daycare worth kids. The Sunday. Oh, yeah. That is totally worth the price of admission mm. on Sunday. Uh, if you visit the their booth anytime during the weekend, you can pick up raffle tickets. I think they're a dollar a piece, uh, and they give he gives away between five and nine thousand dollars worth of stuff Easily. every year. Yeah, this year he said that's he's blowing it out of the water. It's yeah, be he's way more. He so was showing me stuff the last time yeah. I was over there, and oh my goodness, he has loaded Bubba, the I'm, truck. I'm buying tickets. Mm -hmm. Bubba wants to give away a car. We'll yes, have he to does. See if that actually happens. So, but uh, MemphisCFC.com, mm -hmm. and it's it's a it's a blast. And then there's some uh, a few practical tips we're gonna uh, share with you when we come back. So. 
Um, but it, it is a lot of fun. And I, like I said, I've never met anybody that, uh, you know, doesn't have a good time. So, well, we hope you're having a good time here at Geek Tank Radio on News Talk 98.9 The Roar of Memphis. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Geek Tank Radio. News Talk 98.9, the roar of Memphis. And welcome back to Geek Tank Radio. I'm Joe Thorderson with my friends Brandon Olmstead and Alan Gilbreth, our buddy Max behind the glass, and our pal Corey Kaufman from the DeSoto, uh, DeSoto County Ghostbusters, who will, uh, they're going to be set up out front with the Ecto-17, a great looking vehicle. Um, it's it's a perfect photo op. Can people yeah. sit in the front seat and get their picture taken? Uh, yeah, with very heavy supervision. Otherwise, the rest of the car isn't completely accessible. I mean, uh, the the middle seats, the the back yeah. racks, everything. But yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely. I mean, I'm going to be there the entire time. So okay, cool. Nobody's going to try to to make off with it. No. I'm, anyway, but it's, um, it's a lot to it's a lot of car to handle. So yeah. I think they'd be a little bit intimidated. Um, we've been giving you a few tips about what to, uh, you know, well, actually, I don't even know that we've been giving tips. We've been telling you uh, what what a convention is basically like. I do want to mention something, because if you uh, go to our website, you'll see Joel Hodson, the creator of Mystery Science Theater 3000 on the uh, on the header. Um, Joel was supposed to be coming in person because of the covid restrictions on the crew of Mystery Science Theater. He's doing a virtual event on Saturday yeah. November 13th and um there's information on the website it's too complicated to give out right now so but um hey real quick Alan you were going to talk about celebrities I want to mention one thing if you're new to conventions I know it sounds silly but pl- make sure you bring bottled water or make sure you yes. drink people tend to not drink enough and also make sure you plan out how you're going to eat yeah. because let's face it there's there's things where people get so excited I know myself I almost yeah. don't eat an you know What's, mm-hmm. what's plan out your meals, you know, plan out, you know. What's really great about the Marriott is that, you know, there will be water stations set up. I don't know. Well, I mean, there usually are. There uh, are. I mean, but, uh, you know, so make sure you make sure if you're not carrying your bottle of water, you get don't dehydrate. The last thing any of us want to have to deal with is, you know, dehydration. But there's well, a, you can fill up your you know, water bottle at the stations right, right. too. So there is there is a uh, you know there is a restaurant area. They do have you know times when they are you know serving, but I believe you can also still order through the bar. Mm-hmm. But in today's you know wonderful uh, world, Uber Eats, Diner, uh, DoorDash, whatever you need, make sure that you you know again stay hydrated and get some food in you. Because you get excited, you hit all these panels, and then the next thing you know, you're dizzy and you want to fall down. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Seen I'm just mentioning happen. that because I've seen, we've seen yeah. that. We've experienced or people it. Just, I've, I've yeah. seen, I've seen, you know, members of our staff because they're so busy working on something, you know, have that same issue come up. It's, it's not just you guys; it's us too. We, you know. It's something you have to take care of. You well, have to drink watch out water too because you can't Tons just live on Mountain Dew the whole weekend. A lot of people get <laughs> yeah. they, they try to just. It's like you know, Mountain Dew and going. Monster are amazing, uh, you know, potions, but <laughs> yeah. they are not good for you all the time. That's, That's not called essential. hydration. No, yeah. <laughs> That's called caffeination. Yes. yes. Right. So when you're when you're tooling around, you're going to see uh, exhibitor booths. You'll see people, vendors. You'll see artists. You'll see people selling custom crafts. And then when you get upstairs, you're going to see uh, the Geeky Side TV booth. Alan, mm-hmm. uh, geez, what do you? What's and, and they're going to? Oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I moved that into too. a corner downstairs behind the desk. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what, what's going on in there, Alan? Because that's, well, that's your uh, network. Well, yeah, we're actually, you know, for anybody that's ever wanted to know what goes on in television, uh, Geeky Side TV, GeekySideTV.com, and we are featured on Roku, Fire Stick, and Apple TV. So we are a uh, how would you say international broadcast? Well, I mean, and, the internet's international, I guess, but uh, well, but they're on Roku too. So okay. this is not just the internet. This is Apple Fire I mean, don't Stick. Get too everybody, full of yourself, Alan. But okay. Go well, ahead. you know. All right. I, just because I need two <laughs> wait, new hat wait. sizes. You After know. six years of being on the radio with Alan, now you're going to tell him to <laughs> check his ego. You are so too late. All right, but so uh, you're gonna you're gonna have part of your team there. We are. Uh, the the amazing Kate Mobley will be there from on the scene. So she actually reviews movie makers and that kind of stuff. You get to meet her. Jen Mulvihill will be here. Um, she is, A, an award-winning writer, and, B, she is the host of On the Page. 
Mm-hmm. So in, anything you ever wanted to know about books, writing, publishing, yeah. all that stuff should be available. Uh, we're sneaking in a Discovery Special uh, Celeb. Anybody that remembers Master of Arms. Yes, you too want to blow some stuff up. Uh, the host, Mr. Zeke Stout, will be there with us. Uh, he is not hard to miss. He's only about 6'4". So uh, for those <laughs> of you who want to geek out over some weapons, have I got a guy for you. Of uh, We also have the Pirate Blades. Y'all have seen them all over town, good Lord, all over, everywhere in October. And you guys will be taking care of the uh, Get the Booty Pirate Casino game. We are going to have a pirate playground set yeah. up with pirate games. Yeah, what so, night is that? Because we, we want to push that. Is that is Saturday night, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what you win. But you're going up against pirates, so be wary. <laughs> you know, you get, to, and, you get you get know. to play you know card games like Black Spot, and uh, you get to play uh, carnival games like Ring the Rat. Yeah, that's gonna mm. be fun. That's gonna oh, be it is uh, actually fun. Noble it's that'll be in the Noble Ballroom yeah, uh, Saturday uh, one, evening. One, sorry, Alan. One quick PSA: the 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 convention takes place on two levels, so. Some people walk in, and most of the convention is upstairs. So don't freak out and go, where the heck is this thing? Yeah. But there is a ballroom downstairs, which is mm-hmm. where Alan will have the pirates set up. So. All right. Okay. Uh, rock radio legend Wes Yehola will be attending over the weekend. So you get to our good get pal, Wes. Our, our lovely good friend. And then our, our, secret, our secret weapon, uh, comedian extraordinaire, Mr. Scott J. Carroll from Storytime. And several other productions will be available. And our new hit show, I'm going to offer Brandon our new hit show. Oh, no. It came from the international market. You keep Can those, come you, you, to the convention. You keep those people as far away from the, you know, the convention as <laughs> possible. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. And, we, and by the way. We, lo- we love them, and they're all going to be there anyway. So it's If not, you haven't seen the show, folks, it came from the international market is... Um, Picture a a truly cruel and unusual person shopping at an international market, and then you have to try it blind. Yeah, that you don't know what's coming to the table. Mm. Corey just looked absolutely horrified. Hey, and Alan, (laughs) uh, people, you know, they're going to have the cameras rolling in some. There may be panels where you walk in, and they're going to ask you, "Hey, do you mind Mm -hmm. being on camera?" You too might might be on on international television. So, and I mean, let's let's just go ahead and you know, we're going to go ahead and tell you there might be a downside to coming to the MCFC. Because all three of us will be there. Mm-hmm. That's true. We'll be there if you want to say hello to us. And uh, if you listen to Geek Tank Radio, let us know that because it's always fun to meet yeah. people that listen. Hey, speaking of radio, you guys, on our sister station, uh, 98 One The Max, this is going to be fun. Uh, Country Corey is going to be hosting a panel with Danny Bruns who, yes. d- at 3 o'clock on Saturday. And it's basically the, the idea is to try to make Danny Bruns as uncomfortable as possible. Because she, yeah. she calls us all a bunch of nerds, and she's always teasing us. <laughs> and yet, she's one of the biggest <laughs> cosplayers I've ever met. I was going to say, so. She's yeah, like a any, closet. Anybody team, see the uh, the picture we put up Ooh. of them on our uh, Facebook page? Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta say thanks to Danny because now I have the nightmare image of our boss. Yeah, in white face, red lipstick, and a slinky back. Yeah, black I don't want to. I don't uh, want to revisit that. And this, he but. does not make a good she. Let's no. just put it that way. But it's gonna be fun, and uh, I can't. We love the you, name of the Panel, but what is <laughs> the that? name of the panel? Is co- uh, Culture Shock with Country Corey and Danny Bruns? Yeah. And, and if you're new to conventions, here's the other thing that, that might surprise you. These are some of the friendliest people you're ever going to meet. So Absolutely. if you walk in there and you don't know anybody, and uh, don't be afraid to strike up conversations with people. Don't be afraid, of course, to, to take your, you know, ask if uh, you can have a picture. These, um, the, the hotel uh, staff, they always, they said we're their favorite event they've ever had at the Marriott. Sure. And, oh. they, and they also said um, we're like one of the lowest maintenance ones. I mean, we don't, we show up, we have fun, and I mean, we go away. We kind of we kind of <laughs> we kind of do our own setup. You know, everything gets taken care of. That's always been kind of the way we we roll when we come into these uh, venues. They look at us and they go, "What do you need?" And it's like, "Oh, we did it." Yeah, yeah and like, that yeah, that's true. We're pretty self sufficient. Yeah. It's like just uh, we'll we'll take care of things. The uh, yeah, mostly. Uh, just stay out of our way. We'll 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 take yeah. care of business. So, but, but at the same time, we we definitely love the idea of the staff, you know, interacting and having as much fun while we're doing the convention. Well, know? the other thing, uh, you guys, is that the the new banquet manager. He used to work at the Marriott during Dragon Con in, oh. in Atlanta, so he's he's 
right they're right oh, there behind us. That and is they, a battle hardened veteran. No, he's excited. And then Man. um and then they they have a new GM who apparently is into this geek stuff. So the Memphis Marriott East, if uh folks, if you've never been in there, go stop by and have lunch or go oh, have a drink beautiful. there. If it's you've a never, really cozy and comfortable. If you've never been hotel. in there, next weekend's the perfect time to come <laughs> check it out. Yeah. I just remember it's overflow parking. So um you you may want to carpool. If not, don't worry. We've got overflow parking mm-hmm. and you can drive in the um haunted tour bus that's gonna be funny yeah i'm pretty sure it's got ghosts of its own yeah hey Br- alan Br- i don't want to run out of Corey, time you either. may have to bust it as you can keep them in. in there tanya asked me to plug this so we're gonna uh, what what does the haunted tours what do they do because it's a pretty it's a pretty nice operation they got going there so. they really do of uh, what they've done is they've taken the well amazing history of this town and we do have an amazing history. A very rich history. A very rich and diverse and occasionally spooky history. And Haunted History uh, Tours, of our history tours here in Memphis, of really gets into a lot of the great old facilities we have around town. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a, uh, they even have a brewery tour. Of all of, them, me, of, of all of the, you know, all of the great places that have been around Memphis for like a hundred years. Wait, yeah. So, so because this bus is really comfortable, it's a yes. very nice bus. So you sit on there yep. and they tour you around town, and they yes. give you the, they can take you, you pull up, and they give you the history right. of that building over yes. there. Or I, I have, d- I have done one of their tours. It is awesome. Okay, so and it said it leaves at. Um, it leaves at the broom closet, which Alan, you're well familiar with that yes. property, yep. right? Yep. Two doors down from the uh, famous arcade restaurant. Yep. Indeed. Um, and uh, so go to original. I'm just making sure I got the it's historical haunts Memphis dot yes. com. And they've been boy, Tanya, you guys really bailed us out because we needed a bigger <laughs> bus. <laughs> what we needed a bigger boat. Well, now we need a bigger <laughs> yeah. bus. for Because if so. not, Joe was just going to have to drive his trailblazer back and forth with people in the back of it. Yeah. So it's going to it's almost a reason to, to use the overflow parking just yeah. just for fun. So now where do they need to park for the overflow parking, Joe? It's going to be at the, the Renaissance. They'll be directed where to go when they get there. But it's the Renaissance Bank and a, a big shout out to our friends at Renaissance Bank, by the way, because uh, that brand new, beautiful bank at Park. I mean, at Poplar and Yates, that's the overflow lot. It's right. Nice and safe. Beautiful. Very secure. And uh, that's my bank anyway. They're just good people over there so but guys next week at ground wow. zero we'll be there right yeah hopefully we'll, we'll be, be there. broadcasting from there but Corey, we'll it's, it's great having you here and man pleasure. just suit yeah. up i suppose i get your proton i'll just leave it ready. on for the whole week there's <laughs> no point in taking it off at this point i guess we're going to need to bring you back some point after uh ghostbusters afterlife so we can uh do an <sighs> in-depth review yeah, because that, that, that's that's the following week. That's what I'm saying about being busy. So that's going to be great at MCFC next weekend. Ghostbusters Afterlife, the fall afterlife, the following weekend. But uh, come out and have that conversation with me. So yeah, I'm we've need, to it. we've needed this. So go to MemphisCFC.com. Get your tickets now. But guys, we're out of time. So uh, until next week, we are the Geek Patrol, and I am Joe Thorderson. I'm Alan Gilbreth. I'm Corey Kaufman. And I am Brandon Olmstead, challenging you to go on in MemphisCFC.com and buy your tickets to the Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention right now.